Okie dokie dokie. We're back. Had a little problem with my computer, but it's all right. It's all fixed and ready to go now. Hopefully we should be just fine. And I did not realize we went over half an hour last time, so I apologize for that. I try to keep them, you know, half an hour or less if possible. But I was just having so much fun. All right. Uh, nothing new to update you on, except for I want to thank all of my new subscribers. And also, wow, I, I, I gained like 100 uh, likes and friends on my Facebook page just since Friday. Uh, at well over 100. I, I just, wow, thanks. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say there. I'm just astounded, so thank you. And uh, to my new subscribers, thank you. Welcome. I hope you enjoy. Uh, don't forget, by the way, tell me what I'm doing right. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. If I'm doing something wrong, put it in the comments. If I'm doing something right, put it in the comments. I don't know. Just tell me how to do this. Am I doing it right? That kind of stuff. Enough of that. Let's get back to the game because, oh my God, I can't wait to see what happens next. Hopefully, this picks up right where we left off. Of course, if it does, I think we're about to get eight. That can't be good. Well, let's find out. You ready? Oh, heck. Yep, that is right where we're at. Oh, I didn't want to do that. That was the wrong choice. That was definitely the wrong choice. Okay, we're gonna die. I just know it. I just know it. Ah, uh, see, I knew. I knew. Why did I shoot? The, why did I shoot? Ah. Uh. Oh, come on. Oh hell, I did damn it, I did it again. That's alright, I'll be able to get out. I know it. I know it. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Oh come on, run, Forrest! Run! Well, then let's go up there and out the door. Alright, come on! Oh hell, we are so screwed. Let's try doing like What's-Her-Name did and do a little parkour. Oh, that deal. Oh, well. That'll work. Get through the damn hole. Dang. Wow, almost screwed that up royally. God, I suck at video games. Except for Skyrim. I'm really good at that. Uh, uh. Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Mm. What's, what, what do we got? In case you're wondering, I have cats running around behind me. I just knew. If someone is staying here, I don't want to be around when they get back. Puppy cat, behave yourself. We're trying to do stuff here. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Shit, those things are still out there. I gotta block that up. How do I block that, I wonder? Well, I don't think we have much choice. Let's just go in the hole here. See what we got. Hi, folks. How you doing? <laughs> oh, my God. We found the retirement home. It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes no, back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. 
Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. Well, at least we're honest. I have a brother in Macon. Okay. You were there. How was it? As bad as here? Worse. I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Wow. Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Oh, Damn shush. It. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not, not from Crawford. Crawford. But I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them. And I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Okay. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! <sighs> It'd be all right. We're not going to shoot nobody. Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. Hmm. You're really not from Crawford? No. Hmm. I'm really not. Well, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the Well, we got some new friends survivor anyhow. Survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. Oh, this geez. old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? I was gonna say, it looks like a morgue. Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a oh, place God, to survive. Could you imagine How using you that as a bed? Down here? Uh, we were looking for a I boat. And I were up by the river looking for a boat. Now I just want to get out of here and find them again. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Yeah, you know, there's walkers all over there. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. You're a doctor. Besides, huh? why should we help you? Now, don't be mean. Look... Sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? Uh-oh. No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Hmm. Something fishy about this bunch, but I don't know. Something just doesn't seem right. Well, all right then. Well, that was a boring little interlude. Everybody looked at each other, waiting for the next one to say something. Clementine? Clem? God. Oh, he got us right back. Do you see that? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Yeah, no thanks. Who's you. this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? She's not very nice. Where's Clementine? She's around here somewhere. Relax. I got her and Kenny both back safely. You're welcome, by the way. I wasn't avoiding her question. I was asking... I think you have something that belongs to me. Oh, yeah. There's your pogo stick back. <laughs> hey, he's a doctor. He can fix up uh, Omid. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? He's a doctor. This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Yep. Oh, thank God. 
Could you take a look at him? Please? You have to help us. Please. Please? I'll see what please. I can do. Take me to him. Wow. They're dragging the drama out on this one, aren't they? Lots of standing around and doing nothing. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. Cause that's what I did. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Well, yeah. Like we gotta find Clementine. Clementine. See? Clementine. Let's take a look in there. You in there, Clem? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? <laughs> Clementine? Clem, you in here? Let's look out the window. Don't see her anywhere out there. Uh, no walkers either, though. Which is a good thing. All right, well, we know she ain't in here. Ooh, let's touch the couch. I'll touch it, touch it, touch me. I want to be... Never mind. If anybody remembers the words, touch, 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 touch me, I'll be very surprised. <laughs> There's a couple of them, might. Can I go in there? Nope, nothing in there. Okay. I don't know which one of these holes I come out of. Let's try that one. Clementine, you here? Hello? There she is again. What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Hmm. She can take Where's care of herself. Time? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, you are not a Do I look girl. like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Well, that's a help. Anyhow. That. I just want to find Clementine. Well, I care about it. Clementine? No sign of her in here. All right. How the hell did I get into a bathroom? You got more, oh, okay. Clem? Clementine? Well, let's go downstairs. Clementine! Come out! Please! Come on, Clem, I'm worried. I'm scared. Kenny? Huh. Oh, I oh, got hey, drunk. <laughs> Good job. I Good guess job. he found a whiskey. What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting drunk. What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Hey, take it easy. I think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. Duh. No way out. We got walkers all around us. That crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Smart move, Ben. Clementine, where are you? I bet she's crossed the hall. 
Is there any place we haven't checked? She's got to be in there. Doesn't look like she's in here. Well, where is she? Maybe she's over there in one of them closets or bathroom or something. No. Nope. Looks like she's in here. Well, it's your it's my room la left. We haven't checked. Doesn't look like she's in here. Well, where the heck is she? She ain't in the closet. Clementine! Here. Well, Clem, you got me worried, Clem. We already looked out the window and didn't see her. Maybe she's out there. Clementine, Clementine. Doors covered in vines. I don't think anyone came in through there. Hmm. Clem, you in the doggy house? Well, dead gum, I don't know where in the heck she is. Why can't I go in there? Uh. Oh, man. She is in there, I bet you. Do that. Hey, girl. Come look. Look what I found. Well, what is it? It's a boat. And it looks like a functional boat. Hmm. This was here the whole time? I know, right? Hmm. Look at that, Kenny. Mr. Drunk Ass. Sorry I'm munching on peanuts. Haven't eaten yet tonight. Well, Doc, did you fix him up for me? Old Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, yeah, really. if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad yeah. news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. 
Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. Of course, gotta get so everyone to search, little thing. That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Go look. Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Oh, now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. Yeah. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the Hopefully they don't eat us like the last box. Here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Sneak. Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Always good. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah. We still gotta find lead us through so we can pass parents. under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. Sound like a plan. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But hmm. I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. Oh, don't know Shaggy, you, shut kid, the hell up. Take a chance on doing something, then just Can we just around feed him to the walkers? To that boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. <sighs> That's how I'm still alive. We ain't found Clem's parents. We ain't figured out who's on the phone or the walkie-talkie thing. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Very. Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. You ain't going. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better. And get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Aww. Don't worry, baby girl. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess oh, I should no go get cat. ready. Uh, Wait, say what? what? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the I only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Clementine, I, I think it'd be safer for you to stay here with Omi. But what if something happens to him while you're gone? Uh, what, got do you mean? what if he, he dies? Said, if he doesn't get better and, you know, he might try to hurt me. Mm, never thought of that, did ya? Can't I come with you? Give me a chance to say yes, come on! Oh. oh well, what okay. the hell? You can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. I don't like that idea, but I didn't have a choice. I don't want to stand there with Omid and get net if he dies.
Check out All what right. I found in the garage. What? Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. True. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? Yeah. What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? Yeah. So we're going to have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't going to hold more than five people, even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Father. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're going to have to make a decision. Ben stays. Not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Oh. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. How? Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in handy. and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? Nope. I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Now, Clem, you Hold stay close. A are you ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This little girl's not just excess baggage. She's gotten us out of a tight spot more than once. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. There you go. <laughs> Fuck you, you little shitball. Oh, sorry. Such language. <laughs> I'm a bad, bad man. All right. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be think? directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. Pause. We're going to pause there before we go into the school. And uh, take a break because we're just under half an hour. And I just got done telling you I try to keep these things under half an hour. Um... I still have plenty of time tonight, so I might I might go ahead and continue with the next episode for you guys um, uh, tonight sometime. All right? Cool beans. It's been a pleasure. I hope to see you again real soon. In the meantime, grab yourself a hot chocolate or a beer or, well, I was going to say a shot of whiskey, but nobody, no, no. That's just nasty stuff. Nobody should ever drink that. Ugh. Don't like whiskey. I really hate bourbon. Vodka makes me nauseous. Wow, I'm not much of a drinker, am I? <laughs> well, anyhow, grab a drink of whatever it is you want to drink, and I will see you in the next one, okay? Okay, bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.